going on guys we're back in forza horizon 3 today continuing on our let's play this is going to be part number 19 of our let's play series that's crazy we've gone so far if you missed last part we did the final forza horizon 3 showcase which was just crazy we raced a blimp and we basically wrapped up the game technically but we're going to continue on with this let's play series until we're like 100 percent of the way through also if you missed it i'm in a bmw m3 right now if you missed the video from yesterday as well, the one where I showed you guys how to get a bunch of XP, I'll link that in the description down below. That is why I jumped from level, basically level 90 in episode 17, all the way up now to 150. Yeah, so if you want to know how to do that, I'll link it in the description down below. I also have a really cool giveaway to announce in a little bit. It's going to be for all you guys who are subscribed to the channel. Keep smashing that like button on every single one of these videos. It's just been blowing me away recently. I want to do another giveaway. For Forza Horizon 3. So let's see what's around. In the last episode, we opened up, uh, or we leveled up our, our Yarra Valley Festival here up to level 4. Which means we have some new events to do. So I want to see what we have here. I really want to go in. Maybe we should head back down maybe to Byron Bay. Because we've got a bucket list there. PR stunt there. Race there. PR stunt. And basically a bunch of stuff down there. But here's what I want to do in, the, in, in this series from now on. From this point on... In the in this series, I want to go in this in, in the game, go over to the settings, go over to difficulty, and toss it on unbeatable. That's gonna be my challenge from this point on in the let's play. I'm gonna be playing on the hardest difficulty. I'm not gonna be changing it regardless of whether we're doing a street race. If it takes me an hour to do five races again, I will do it and I'll try my best and see what happens. But if we're gonna be racing around on the hardest difficulty in this game, I'm going to need something quite quick. To hopefully be able to compete with some of these some of these other drivers that are driving around and stuff like that. Or maybe, maybe we should go with that NSX I've been talking about forever. Like this NSX, it's uh it's this one. It's been it's been evading me. Let's do it. Let's make it into one hell of a race car. We're gonna go rocket bunny on it, it's gonna look insane. And I mean, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. <gasps> that is like my thing. Galaxy paint jobs. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I'm a huge fan of like nebulas and things like that. I've always said I really want a tattoo sleeve and if I ever got one it would totally be of something like that. Some sort of like tattoo nebula type thing with like a skyline going into like planets and then space and stuff. It's just I like that. It looks awesome. We will toss on we will head to the upgrade shop toss on our rocket bunny kit to it. Look at that. Holy shit. I love those front headlights, how they're, like, into the car because it changes, like, the front hood and the front bumper so much. Holy shit, it's so wide. It's so low as well. This car is honestly going to be scraping along the ground as, as we drive. So, all right, let's go for a custom upgrade. We've already got the Horizon Edition tires on there. Those are race tire compounds. That's good. Uh, we should have already huge fat tires on there. We do. Uh, those rims are okay. I'll actually leave those on. I might as well. Now, I don't know if we actually have more power. No, we... So, we've done all of that, and we made the car S1 class, but we're still rocking 275 horsepower. Yeah. That's how powerful, like, my R32 is. My Subaru is more powerful than this car was before I just tossed in a V8. Should I toss in... Nah, uh, no. No. No V8. Stock... Stock engine. But we're gonna turbo... Twin turbo the stock engine. Should we make it all-wheel drive? No, we're not going to make it all-wheel drive. What we're going to do instead is we're going to make this thing quite grippy so it could go around corners as quickly as possible. And I think because of that, we won't be rocking too much horsepower, but we'll be super, super grippy, and that should make us win some races. This thing is literally touching the ground already, and we've barely done anything to it. So we do need some power, though, because we, we need more than 300 horsepower. Let's say a good place for us for power would be around 450 mark. There's 400. Oh, that goes up to S2. Okay, that goes up to S2. Let's just reduce this down. Oh, you dick. Can we? Yes, perfect. All right. We are sitting at S1 class, 439 horsepower, 345 torque. So it's not the most powerful thing out there. But I'm hoping this thing is able to grip around every single corner with ease. I mean, we're rocking the biggest brakes we can. We've got full-on race tires, as fat as they will go. We've got that enormous rear wing, which I don't actually know if it helps us grip or not, but I'm gonna say it does. And then, I mean, just look at it. Oh my god, does it look good. I love the look of this car. Holy shit. 
That nebula paint job now, that whole galaxy paint job, is really looking good. Holy shit. All right. So let's drive over to... We have a bucket list down here, so we won't be able to jump... Okay, let's let's go down there. We've got an undiscovered route there. Hopefully it stays on the road, or we have one right there. Whichever one, whichever one's on the road, we'll do that first, and then we'll go do some bucket lists. Anyway, so I said that I had a giveaway for you guys, for all of you guys who have been subscribing to the channel, smashing the hell out of the like button. The last giveaway ended on Friday, I believe, and I was like, okay, that went really well, but we had like some 50,000 entries on the thing, which is just crazy. So, I got another Forza Horizon 3 copy. And I wanted to give it away to you guys again. So we're going to be doing exactly the same thing. If you guys want to enter the Forza Horizon 3 giveaway, it's going to be for the ultimate edition for the game. You can play on the Xbox One or the PC, whichever one you have. You'll get a bunch of the car packs. You'll get the VIP. You'll get everything, pretty much. And I mean, click the link in the description. Do all the entry things. Go onto the website and stuff like that. That's how you guys get as many entries as you can. Follow on Twitter, Instagram. I basically just sort of wanted to give back to all of you guys because I know there's been so much love and support throughout all of these... Oh. Hey! Wheels down! I wasn't expecting that. So this is a... This is a road sprint. Okay, this, this might work. This totally might work. Oh, yeah. I totally said we were gonna build the RX-7. Whoops! But yeah, seriously, there's just been so much love on these videos recently. I just wanted to give back to you guys by getting another copy of Forza Horizon 3 and just giving it to you guys. So if you'd like to enter, link's in the description down below. Let's get into this race. Oh, we've got an RX-7. We've got a Skyline. I saw an R34 back there. And I mean, let's see what we can do on the hardest difficulty. I'm, I'm sort of nervous, I do have to admit. Because every other time I've been doing one of these races where we've been on the hardest difficulty, I've always had a car that's been essentially balls out, just super, super fast. Now this R this this NSX is fast, but it's no like super fast rocket ship. All right, we've already dropped off the pace of the pack by my sloppy driving and my sloppy lines bashing into one of the walls earlier on in this race. I really got to step on it. Look at the grip around there. I don't know if other people are lifting or braking for that corner. But I mean, I'm rocking the biggest brakes I can get. The fattest tires I can get. And look at that. With these corners, we're closing in up on the skyline. The RX-7, we got a bit of a slide on past him. Jumping up the inside on the R on, on the S2000. No! He's going to slingshot it out of the corner. Alright, get in behind this 350Z. See if we can get a little bit of a, a, little bit of a draft going on here. Breaking. Oh, we didn't need to break there. I need to pay attention to these tracks a little bit more. S2000 gave it a dab of brakes. We're gonna go flying past the S2000 around the outside on the on the 350Z. Make that the inside on the 350Z. Up to third position with 25% of this race to go. Holy shit, this is what I'm talking about. This is a good race. Let's see if we can get second. First place is all the way up there. That'll be a stretch, I think, if we can get him. But holy shit, if we get some more of these weavy corners. It's possible. There, get inside on the RX-8. Push the RX-8 into the wall. The S2000 is going to be coming right back for us. We're going to have the inside line going into here. Swing out wide. Try to cut him off. Try to cut him off. We don't have the power to race him. He got the inside line. No! No! The S2000 with that inside line and a tiny bit more horsepower than us. He just pulled it. He had the shorter line through the corner. And we lost it by let... By exactly 0.1 seconds. Holy shit. This car is really good. It's got some great potential to do some incredible stuff. I'm very happy I picked up this RX-7. Like, we're not going to get huge amounts of XP and stuff like that. But that doesn't really matter. We're mainly going for fans right now. So, our, our XP and our money, we're good. We, we're level 150 already. We've got 20 million in the bank. So, we don't really need to focus on that. We just got to rack in some fans. And I mean... If we get races like that, I'm okay with it. So let's see where we are. We're all the way down here. So maybe we have so many bucket lists. It's like we've got a bucket list there, bucket list there. We had a bucket list all the way up there as well. So maybe we should go and do this bucket list. This is right behind us. It'll respawn us there. We can go and hit this PR stunt. And then we can go do that race or that race. And then head over to that PR stunt as well. Should be a busy day, but I mean, let's do it. I like I like how now I can ignore those guys as well. It's like the high credit guys. I've been having to race every single one I've seen, basically. I know I've ignored a couple of them, but it's like, 
Oh, I love having 20 mil in the bank and just being like relaxed finally. Anyways, let's see what this bucket list is. Ooh, there is gonna be a car here. Ooh, it's the Opal. It's the Opal Manta. All right, so rally driving, is that gonna be a point to point race? Oh, beat the speed target. Okay, that I can try and do. So we are, we just have to get 65 miles an hour. That doesn't seem too fast. But I mean, these are usually quite difficult. We've also got like a minute and a half to get there. I don't exactly know where we're going. Ooh, we're going rally driving. They didn't lie. Oh shit. That's a big puddle through there. God. Oh no, it's a speed zone. Here we go. We're in. We're in. So we got to get 65 miles an hour through this. Let's try our best. We're going around some rally drivey corners. So our speed's going to drop quite considerably. 70 miles an hour, 70, yes! Just got it! 68 miles an hour. It was like hovering around like that mark for a really long time. I was so scared it was gonna drop. Holy crap though, we got it. We got it, we got like no XP and no, really? 137 XP from leveling up? Really? You couldn't have just given it to me? 150,000 fans, we still got quite a ways to go before we expand our next festival, but I mean, man. We've got so many events and stuff to do. I don't think it'll be a problem getting like upgrade in our festival. So let's see, where are we now? We are at the Opal Manta and I said we would head up here. Oh, there's a PR sim right there. I didn't spot that. So let's go do that PR sim real quick. Now let's go and do that. Good. Driving our race car NSX off-road, I mean, is a bit of an interesting affair to say the least. Oh, XP board. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna level up. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Give me 100K. Or, uh, ooh, what's that? Final boss? Oh, I've reached level 150. Thanks for the four grand, though. Thanks, appreciate it. We're, we're, we're almost, like, done. Man, all our, all our things are saying, like, we've beaten the game. I don't know if there's an achievement for maxing out all the festivals, but screw it, I'm, I'm gonna get it if there is one. So what is this right here? Is this off-road? Is it off-road? It is off-road. Oh, no, it's not! Oh, it's speed trap. Oh, it should probably be coming from the other way. I hit it at 70 miles an hour. The speed, the speed camera would barely even trigger at that speed, let's be honest. Alright, braking. In the rain, I mean, it's not as, not as quick as you would think. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I think I'm three miles an hour off, probably. Let's see, speed trap. Oh, two stars, yeah. Earned 26,000 fans for that. Not bad. Alright, so this is a woodland circuit. Boy, does that sound fancy. What are we doing? Oh, good, we can take our Asian sports car again with our brilliant NSX. I do love the look of this thing. I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think of this? How do you think it looks? I think it looks pretty good. Let's go. In the NSX, ooh, we're racing the same sort of stuff as last time. I mean, I mean we're doing the exact same championship, but you would, you would sort of expect that. Anyways, hardest difficulty once again, we've seriously got to nail these corners. Our corners is where we make up all of our time and we get all of our speed and we catch up to everybody. All right, let's try to go up the inside here. Cutting the corner very poorly, actually. I was gonna say really nicely, till we decided to go off-roading. Ooh, look at that, up to seventh place. A lot of wheel spin back there, though. All right, come on. So this is a circuit event, so we, we've got three laps of this circuit. No need to break there. I've sort of got to learn the track on my first lap, and then lap two and lap three is going to be where I catch up to these guys a lot. But look at that, we're already up to sixth place now on these guys. Little bit of dab of the brakes. Going around the inside on the 350Z, we're wheel to wheel, and then he just get he has more power than me, man. That's the problem with this NSX, there's no power. It's all grip. There we go, gripping around the inside of the corner, though. And we made that place stick rather well. Up to fifth place, we're gonna do it on this RX-7 here. Ooh, lack of grip there, a lot of wheel spin, and the S15 got us now. This is where we gotta catch up to some guys, though. A little bit of no braking, the braking line tells me to brake. Uh-uh, buddy. Breaking there, and then come on! Okay, we gotta get the inside here on the RX-7. RX-7's gonna go for a very wide line. He's gonna almost push me off the circuit. I had to go into the dirt there a little bit. Come on, here we go. Little lift there. Lot of wheel spin, fifth place. All right, we're gonna get the RX-7 right here, and let's see if we can close the gap on some of these guys. Gonna lift there again, and hold this inside line. We're past the RX-7 and closing the gap on this guy up here. Final lap of this race, come on! Ooh, the NSX is getting a little, a little sideways, a little excited around some of these corners. On the hardest difficulty, we're in fourth place around the final bend. Oh, I lied, that was not the final bend. This is the final bend. Little lift of the throttle. Oh, trying to hold it. 
it gets quite a bit of wheel spin actually for for something that's so grippy and so light and, and so little horsepower it's like to spin up its wheels quite a bit eh? so we came fourth i mean that wasn't bad it's just we got screwed a lot we, we we were holding back a lot because of all the guys in front of us that's what screwed us and the race itself was kind of short so we didn't have that much time to just sort of catch up to everyone uh we're level 150 now we've got that bronze like wristband i think is it still wristbands i don't know Anyways, we're, we're less than a million fans now away from expanding our festival. So that's looking good. Sweet! So we've got one more race to do, and I think a PR stunt. So around us we have... Oh, we've got a PR stunt right here. And then a bucket list just up the road from that. Good, and then we've got a barn find right there we can go and get as well. So what's this PR stunt up here? Is it going to be a speed trap for some reason? I think it is. Unless it's like... Oh! Keep the power in. Yes, it is a speed trap. Good. It's like, I refuse to brake for those now. Even if I overshoot them, I'll just pull a quick little Yui. But it's like, every single one I, I slow down on is always, a, is always a thingy. There's no car here. Live life sideways. Are we gonna go drifting in the big bad Hellcat? I think we are, man. Let's see what we gotta do. It's either gonna be drifting. Oh, get to the drift zone and beat the target. I mean, that shouldn't be too hard in a 700 horsepower muscle car. We did drive a Hellcat. We drove it for one race and then shit on the thing entirely. And we were like, this is slow because I, I did a stupid street race with it. And it went really badly. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to drive it anymore. So we've got like a crazy wide body uh, Hellcat in our garage. And it's just, we've never driven it properly. So maybe for one episode, we'll have to whip that thing out again. Because I mean, the thing's so awesome, right? It's just... Anyways, we've cut the corner all the way to the drift zone. Let's do some drifting in the big bad Hellcat. The thing I love about the Hellcat is it's incredibly powerful. And I mean, the wet roads are sort of helping us get some... Oh, shit. I was like, okay, we're not getting drift points. Uh, car's quite long. We, we sort of held it over the over the side of the road a bit. We didn't get any points for that. But anyways, we got it. 49k points. We're gonna get some monies. More importantly, though, we just need the fans. The fans is our main focus right now. Whoa, shit, like, that's, that's, that's like 1. Point, what? 1.9. 1. 1. What am I saying 1.9? 190,000 fans for that. Let's go over to this undiscovered route and do that and then PR stun right there. Cool. I hope it's not like a point-to-point -point one, that, or that's gonna be really annoying. NSX, we've got our final race here. It's looking like a little cheeky sunset or something out here. And let's try to not get held up by these guys. Okay, this is a point-to-point -point race. So we've got to get around these guys as quickly as possible. We won't have time to learn the track or anything. But hopefully we can make something happen here regardless. All right, so we're in ninth place behind a pair of skylines. And we can't let this happen to us. We cannot get stuck behind guys like this. Because this will slow us down a lot. All right, no lifting off there. Full in the power. And just a little lift here, I think. That'll work. Yes, good. Look at this NSX. Take these corners. It's so smooth. I love the thing. All right, and right on the back of this 350Z. Now, don't get held up by this guy, or else it's going to screw us a little bit of the inside line there. And we're going to try to possibly go around the outside on the RXM, but no, look at him pull. Holy shit, he can pull. Come on, we need some more corners in this race. We need high-speed corners. That's what this car is best at. It's just, like, flying around really high-speed corners. It's so good at Because it's got, like, 440 horsepower, right? So it has some speed to it. But the main thing is it's grit around these high-speed corners. S15, why? Why are you swinging outside like that? Trying to block me, man. All right, 40% of this race to go. I've still got plenty of time to pass some of these guys and improve my position right here. But I mean, that's a long straight there. I'm surprised they didn't pull more than they did. But here we go. RX-7's in the, in the, on the sidewalk there. We've got him. Jumping up the S15, smashing into some guys. Ooh, we've hit the S2000. Ooh, the S2000 might have some power. He's gonna have the inside. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. Why'd he pull out? Why'd he pull out? We're up to second place. Oh, and the finish line. Only a couple more corners. Oh, I think this is an, S an NSX as well. Come on, can we get first place in this race? That would be huge if we could take this on the hardest difficulty. Oh, I shouldn't have braked there. Not gonna break here. Didn't make that mistake, hit that point. Round the outside on my NSX, buddy. Yes, and we're gonna have the, oh, drag race to the finish. We've got the NSX. We made our position stick around the outside. First place on the hardest difficulty in the game. That's huge, that's awesome. Wow, 
13,000, 14,000 credits for that. We're back up to 21 million. Very, very nice. 8,000 XP! Why so little XP from a race like that where you're on the hardest difficulty? Oh, we can win the Charger we were just in. Come on, give me the Charger, man. We did well in it. What the hell? Every time. Every single time. And I mean, that's not even that good Good fans. It's like, shit. We're 300,000 fans away from, from expanding our festival, so it looks like next episode we'll be able to do that. Anyways, guys, if you did, continue to smash that like button as you guys have been. Check out the giveaway links in the description down below, and don't forget to get a bunch of levels. Level up like crazy, get a bunch of wheels, get a bunch of money. Link in the, is in the description down below for that as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Boy, Oh, XP board. Isn't that fortunate? Hey, nailed it. Please.